Are you ready to turn your long form video from YouTube into viral short form clips in just a few clicks? I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that with Opus Clip. It's a new program I've been using that I've been absolutely loving. And this is part four of my evergreen content system series on how to take one long form video every week and turn it into long term growth and content everywhere. And so we are wrapping up this series by really getting nitty gritty and showing you behind the scenes. I'm sitting here with my laptop at my desk and gonna take you behind the scenes of how I use Opus Clip. And so it's been really powerful for me lately and just creating more short form clips for my social media and really helping to fill in some of my content calendar with clips from my YouTube videos that I am already making every single week. And so I thought it'd be the perfect way to wrap up this series. And if you haven't watched this series yet, I encourage you to watch from the beginning. We'll put the playlist right up here, right down in the description where you can click on over and you can watch every single video that we have for you in this series for your evergreen marketing. But the other thing that I did want to make sure I mentioned is that I do have a link below for Opus Clip. So if you want to try it out, give it a trial run before you jump into it fully. Be sure to go down there, sign up, and you are able to check it out for yourself. All right, so if you look to your screen now, you'll see that I have Opus Clip pulled up on my computer. And you can see I already have some like videos in here from my YouTube channel. And I'm just gonna show you an example of how this works. And obviously you can drop like basically any sort of link in here. You do have to wait for your YouTube videos. If you wanna do it this way, it has to be like published and live before you can come in here and do this. So like if it's unlisted or scheduled or private, you aren't able to do that until it goes live and goes public. That's just tried it out. That's how it works. So you can either like the last one I did here, I actually just uploaded the video straight into here instead of having to wait until it goes live. But you can also wait or you can go back to past videos and drop the links in here. It's really as simple as just pasting the link and clicking on get clips in one click. So I'm not necessarily going to show you exactly how that works. Very simple. But what is a little bit more like there is more intention behind is actually picking what short form clips you want to use and then actually adding like closed captions onto it. Let me make sure my volumes turn on for you. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. Let's go into maybe let's do how like the YouTube video I did about selling courses. You can see whenever it's done loading. So it's going to take several minutes to generate these clips for you and then once it's done though you can come in here and it gives you multiple of them and then scores them for you so you'll see like it, it's basically giving you the likelihood that's going to do well if you turn this into a short form clip and so all you have to do is click on it to watch it so let's go ahead and just see um we'll actually I'll also link if you want to watch this YouTube video and kind of see how it's clipping it you will drop a link in the description if you want to see that but you don't have to watch it to like know how this works um but let's go ahead and watch this first one and just see how it turned out Okay, so we'll open it up. Beyond that, a lot of the times the people on YouTube, if you create your videos right, they're the kinds of people who are searching for answers. Like they are going out and actually taking action and searching for things that they want to know the answer to. And so they're willing to. Okay, so I do really like this one already, I can tell. So if I know I want to use it, I'm going to, well, I can click on edit clip and that's where you're going to edit it. And when you initially do this, like right here, I actually have like a closed captions template that I've created and that I use that is automatically applied to my videos. I'll show you how to do that here in just a second, but basically what you can do here, I mean, there you can do a lot of different things. Like you can adjust the crop if it didn't get it quite right. You can reset that here. Um, you can change where you want the closed captions to be. It's giving you guidelines on generally like where you're gonna want your closed captions to be. There's a lot of different things you can do here. The main thing that I do is just turn on the captions here and then that's where I am adjusting my settings based on my brand and based on what I like. You can look through here and see. Um, I personally do one caption line. I have the caption position on auto. Um, I have a box animation. This is one of my brand colors. So the word that is currently being said is like my bright yellow color. The background color is the dark, is like, or sorry, not dark gray, it's black. And then I uploaded my own font. Rethink Sans is one of my brand fonts. So I uploaded that into here so it like matches my brand even more, right? Um, font case is as typed. And so this is really though, like there's no right or wrong. I do like a bigger font just so it's easier to read and it's a little bit more like the word I guess would be jumpy is it like kind of comes in and out a little bit more than having a ton of text on the screen. So this is just what I've landed on and what I really like and like you could see from when we played it earlier. But this is where you can also if you want to like trim out, you're like, oh, I don't want to keep that sentence in here. You can click and select um, certain parts of the clip and then you can either remove the caption part of it or if you click remove caption and video, it will delete that from your video clip. So it makes it very easy to edit, which I really love. And there's a lot of different things you can do here. Like 
like for example, you can come down here to B-roll and you can upload your own, you can add, um, I mean, there's AI B-roll. I generally don't add a lot of B-roll to my videos. It's just personal preference. And also I just feel like I'd rather it just be me <laughs> talking unless I'm like need a visual on the screen to show people like okay this is like what I'm talking about then I can come into here and add that but in general I don't do a whole lot else with this like the other thing that I will do because this works in the context of if we're creating this for Instagram I will add a text box um, at the top of this for the first maybe seven to eight seconds that kind of is like a hook for what this is about so this video here is okay I'm trying to remember so this is about like why, because I think this is about how to like course creators and getting them on YouTube. And so, yeah, so, okay. So I'm gonna add at the top. So like people instantly know what this is about. So I'm gonna go to text. I'm gonna go to body text, move this up here. And then we're going to type in some, like some sort of hook, right? So this would be something like why course creators or why YouTube is best organic platform for course creators. Okay, and then I usually make this, we can go down to 24, I'm gonna change this to my brand font, and then I'm going to add this somewhere up here, it's kind of zoomed in right here, but just doing the best I can. I wanna keep it down somewhere around here so that it actually shows up like on Reels, like you can actually see this text. So basically this is just like a, like a hook so that at the beginning, like they can get a gist of what this video is going to be about. I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna make this about like seven or eight seconds long. Okay, and then that's about all that I do, to be honest, I keep it very simple. So um, the template for your captions to change that, I guess I need to save this. To change that, you're gonna go to your brand template right here. And then that's where you can edit what this caption is automatically going to look like. So I recommend doing that so that it will save you so much time. You're not having to like fiddle with it and like figure out what you want your caption to look like. It just automatically is exactly what you want it to be. And so I, let me go back to that video. And then once you're done like editing a video, you can either from like, I'll come in right here. Whoop, we went all the way back here. You can come in right here and click on, wait, why did it go back here? Oh, there we go. Um, right here, when it's done, like with the edits that you made, there will be a download button. It'll look, oh, there we go. Download it right here. Or when we were in there editing, if you go to at the top, there is a button that says export and then you can download it right there as well. And then from there, that's where we're then just so, you know, uploading that to Instagram, creating a caption, and we're good to go. Like, that's as simple as that. And sometimes it will take me some time to go through these different clips and find the ones that I like. But this just gives um, a really great way to uh, really encourage people to watch your YouTube videos. That's the goal of it for me anyway, and to, like, nurture them with longer form video content on something like Instagram. And personally... The main thing that I do with these videos is I make the, like if I wanna do a mini chat trigger, I'll do something like comment video below and I'll send you a link to the full YouTube video on this topic. And I find that to be the most effective in getting people to comment and to send them that resource and to really nurture them. I've experimented with doing like, you know, commenting for a freebie or something like that, but it just doesn't, like the, like having it, the call to action be to watch your full YouTube video as personally, like that's worked really well. And that's where they're going to like in my YouTube content, like I've talked about on my channel, like because I'm optimizing it for sales, that's where then they're gonna go into more of my funnels and get on my email list and stuff like that and the, where the sale is actually going to happen. And so that's really my strategy here. A lot of times in the caption, um, or you could even add, if I go back to the video here, you could even make like another text box either at the end or at the beginning that says like comment video for the full video, or that could be what is in your text box here as well. You could experiment with that. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll just make the first line of my caption say comment video for the full video on this or comment link for the video, right? And so then just keeping this more being like a hook that tells people what this video is going to be about. And that wraps up this series on creating your evergreen content system to her long-term growth, to share content everywhere. If you have any questions, 
any other videos you want me to make in the future on this topic, drop a comment below. I love hearing from you guys and it's awesome to hear like your takeaways and how this was helpful. If you are loving series, do you love seeing these on my channel or not? Drop a comment and let me know. I have ideas for other series that I want to do that I'm very excited about. So let me know if there's anything that you're wanting to see in that. And if you haven't yet and watching this full series on your evergreen content system, be sure to uh, go ahead, head up to the playlist and link is in the description. You can go ahead and watch all the videos in the series there. And I'll see you guys next week again on Tuesday. Bye guys.